Mabuhay! Welcome to our virtual classroom. How are you today? I hope that you are doing great. This is Teacher Kathleen May. Let us explore the world of MAPE. Before we begin our lesson, let's watch and observe this video. Dear learners, are you familiar with the different musical instruments they played? Did you get the correct answer? Great job! If you don't, that's okay. Because today, we will talk about the different instruments in the lowland of Mazan. Let's define first what is Rondalia instruments. Rondalia. Rondalia is an ensemble of black or string instruments played with a plectrum or pick, and sometimes with percussions too. It has originated in medieval Spain, especially in Castle Catalonia, Aragon, Murcia, and Valencia. Now, what you see is the Rondalia seating arrangement. In the upper left, we have the percussions, followed by guitar and basses, and in the lower part, we have the banduria, lauds, octavinas, and also, we have in front, the conductor. Now, let me present to you the rondalia instruments. First, we have the banduria. Banduria, it is a 14-string pear-shaped lute with a round sound hole and played with a black drum. It plays as a melody in the rondalia ensemble. Next, we have laud. It is a 14-string pear-shaped lute with F-shaped sound holes that played with a black drum. It is bigger than the banduria. It also plays as the alto part or counter melody in the rondalia ensemble. And the third one is octavina. Octavina, it is a 14-string lute which is shaped like a small guitar and played with a black drum. Next, we have the guitar. Guitar is the common instrument that we know in rondalia. Guitar is a fretted musical instrument having six strings. It is typically played with both hands by strumming or plucking the strings with either the guitar pick or the fingers, fingernails of one hand, while simultaneously fretting. We also have Bajo de Oñas. Bajo de Oñas, it is a bass guitar which looks like a big guitar and it is played with a plectrum. It is often used as a companion of the song. And lastly, we have the double bass. Double bass, or simply bass, is the largest and the lowest pitch bowed instrument in the modern symphony orchestra. It is also a transposing instrument, and it is typically notated as one octave higher than tuned to avoid excessive ledger lines below the stop. It plays the bass of the rondalia ensemble. And there you have it! Now let's talk about the brass bands. The brass band is an ensemble of woodwind, brass, and percussion instruments. In the Philippines, they are usually played in fiestas, religious, and civic celebrations. At this 
juncture, may I present to you the common brass band instruments from the woodwinds. We have here lute, piccolo, clarinet, and saxophone. And I will be showing you how the instrument sounded like. And now, let's take a look on the common brass instruments on the brass winds. First, we have trumpet, French horn, sousaphone, euphonie, and trombone. I bet you have seen these instruments before. It is usually played in fiestas and other celebrations. And now let's proceed with the percussion instruments. Percussion instruments is played by heating or striking. It is one of the loudest instrument in the brass bands. The common instruments are cymbals, snare drums, and bass drum. Now let's jump in on the bamboo instruments. 
Las Piñas Bamboo Organ is a Philippine national treasure that can be found in St. Joseph Church in Las Piñas City. And it is made of 902 bamboo pipes. In addition with that, every February, the city celebrates the International Bamboo Organ Festival. Las Piñas Bamboo Organ was completed in year 1824 under the supervision of Father Diego Serra. Let's take a look at the given example. Next, we also have Musikong Bungbong. Musikong Bungbong is a Filipino marching band that uses woodwind instruments that are made of bamboo. The shape and sizes are similar to brass band but different in sound. Did you know? Felix Ramos is both the founder and inventor of the bamboo instruments. The first member of the band were all Katepaneros. Musikong Bungbong was renamed several times but it currently known at Musikawayan under the leadership of Police Lieutenant Colonel Gilbert M. Ramos, a fourth-generation descendant of band founder. And lastly, we have Pangkat Kawayan. Pangkat Kawayan is popularly known as the singing bamboos of the Philippines. It is an orchestra that plays music using non-traditional bamboo instruments. It was founded in For your output, draw a rondalia instrument that made an impression to you. Draw it on a short band paper, and after drawing, write a short paragraph why you chose that instrument. <laughs> 